Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on the Ghanaian Farmer Channel. My name is Enyunam. If this is your first time watching us from across the world, you're most welcome. Feel at home, subscribe and share the link of all the videos that you're watching. Now, they say experience is the best teacher. And so for Ghanaian Farmer, for the past three years, we've been interviewing and doing documentary on the agriculture sector in Ghana. We've come to associate ourselves with one brand that is known for quality and is known for their record, which is Marvelous Trust Ghana Limited. Most of you kept asking, and you know, why sweet potato? Why not other crops? What is the uh, biggest reason why you settled on sweet potato? So I have answered, but I guess most of you still need more clarification. So we left Accra, this dawn, and we came to Marvelous Trust Ghana Limited. So we are standing with the MD, the CEO, to find out from him to explain what exactly crop is called sweet potato. Uh, why this particular variety? Why not the other one that Ghanaian consume? And many other reasons. I hope to ask all your questions and he give the answers before we leave here. Dr. Kamasa, thanks for joining me once more. Thank you, and, uh, welcome. Thank you, well, thank you very much for having us. How many acres of sweet potato do you have? uh we do it in stages what is getting ready to harvest now we have close to 130 and uh, we are still planting to we normally do close to 400 acres uh throughout during the rain season okay that's our major cultivation but the dry season we do 150 acres that's what the, our irrigation can cover okay but we there's a plan for us to expand mm. our target we want to do over 2000 acres that's a plan Okay. And then we want to add a smallholder farmers to add to what we are doing to look around 5,000 hectares if possible. Mm. Because based on the market we have mm -hmm. in hand, yeah. So, uh, do we have a variety of sweet potato? Yeah, we do. Uh, Ghana breed some mm -hmm. called Apomodi, okay. which we are not doing. We tried before, right? But we realized that the export market, because we are export drive company, okay, yeah, because we can consume all the products we. We, we produce. produce here mm. uh, because we don't have a processing facility mm. yet. Mm. Though we process a little to Gary by just about um, um, two percent of, of, of the total production. Down, which, okay. So uh, we look at the, we mm. look at the export market mm. where we have a whole demand of the export market. So based on that, we look for the right variety which he, he, which meet the market requ requirement. Okay. And then which the shelf life also is good for export mm. by sea okay. because we don't ship sweet potato by air okay. we ship by sea okay. it's a tuba crop you can right. see how they yes. are developing yes. very yes. well which we try over mm. some years now mm. uh, successfully mm -hmm. that's why we need more expansion where the globally mm -hmm. people know that there's a potato potential mm -hmm. in a potato mm -hmm. from ghana mm -hmm. because we are also close from europe mm -hmm. You ship within 21 days or 14 days. It arrives. It's arrived. Okay. Where South America take a longer period. Mm. Uh, though we compete with Egypt. Mm -hmm. Egypt also closer to Europe. Mm. But advantage we have, Egypt have a window. Within four or five months, they are out of season. Mm. But Ghana, we are blessed to have our sunlight and everything. You can grow throughout the year. The whole year. So when we try, mm -hmm. we realize that our planting material mm -hmm. is able to uh, sustain our climate mm. so we realize that we can go throughout the year okay so four years successfully mm. we realize that it's one of the products we call it super mm. super product mm. the reason why we call it super product it have most nu nutrient element across board you mm. can use it for a lot of things mm -hmm. because there's a plan we want to do the processing to the flour needle you can use it for bread mm -hmm. You can use it for beer. Yeah. It's one of the most expensive beer in the whole world. Wow. Yeah, and then you can use it for starch. Okay. You we realize even some of the starch pharmaceutical industry they play a major role in port of starch. Mm -hmm. So those are the plan we have. Okay. So we try all the variety. This all this we bring it, mm -hmm. uh, the tuber, and then we breed it here. Okay. And then we are using, and okay. then we breed. So even you remember some time ago when you go to the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. We even have some of the mother plant where we bring yeah. So basically, mm. uh, it's a product we call it a unique product okay. because you have all the elements. Mm. You can use it for jollof rice, okay. fried rice, 
you can you can use it in place of carrot mm. people even call it bitter carrot okay you can use it for yogurt right so it's a unique product i know yes. i know so this is the orange flesh this orange here. flesh okay. sweet potato we have mm. a variety of orange flesh okay. but this specifically be regard be regard yes okay which countries do you export your orange flesh to i uh, you go to germany mm -hmm. you go to uk mm. you go to finland okay you go to dubai right uh, most other european like france you okay. go to france okay so those are our target market mm. in a month how many times do you export i wish i want to be exporting mm. every, every day every day but the product is not there the capacity of the production is not there does it mean you have high demand for this particular product oh, we do high demand throughout the year mm. even sometimes we have we have orders there mm. we can't even supply but you know agriculture is a long-term investment mm. proper investment mm which we are knocking mm -hmm. to see we can get proper investment mm -hmm. get the right people to mm. partner with because you can't do it alone mm. uh, you know how inputs are very expensive yeah. these yeah. days yeah. so uh, the demand is there mm. if somebody is telling you the demand you know ghana we talk mm -hmm. but we one of our strengths is the market the action that's supposed to go with the talking is what it's not there it's not there yes so there. the opportunity in this mm. chain mm. is very good okay where the return is mm. is okay okay more than the rest of the products right. we do so we have the negative and a positive mm. side mm. already mm. we have those protocol mm -hmm. that somebody want to venture into sweet potato we call ourselves expert based on experience we have okay where we think that nobody can take it away from okay. us so how many tons do you export on weekly basis or uh, uh we know we about? look at it mm. in a monthly basis okay so every month, every month we are looking around um uh two container okay because we are now putting some few infrastructure in place mm. uh two container one container take 24 ton okay yeah so, so we need that 40 for uh, yeah 40 almost almost uh, 48 ton. or 50 ton okay yeah that's what we but we you need more we need more and we are mm. increasing it from I guess Andy, mm -hmm. because you can see yeah. what we have here. It's, it's pretty huge. Yeah, 56 acres will be getting ready from. Uh, in some few weeks. In some, yeah, some few weeks. Okay. Then we'll start. You can see the route, how yeah. they are developing. Yeah. yeah. So we, we, we have the market. Does it mean that sweet potato is not a plant that demands a lot of attention? It doesn't need a lot of work. Is that why you love sweet potato? Is that why you even encourage the Ghanaian farmer? Among all these crops, you, you encourage us to invest into sweet potato? Uh, every plant needs attention. Okay. Every human being needs attention. Mm. But it depends and then the stages. And then we have realized that we try over the year. Uh -huh. And then how people pay a lot of attention to maybe okra or tomatoes. We realize that sweet potato doesn't need that much. It depends how you maintain Manage. the farm mm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Farm, the plant, they are also human beings. Okay. If you don't even take your bath for some one week, mm. you can't feel comfortable. Yes. You can't plant and leave it in the bush. That's why people see agribusiness that is one of the risk areas. Mm. But if you're able to put yourself together, mm. understand the crop very well. Mm. The plant, they talk to us. Mm. So they also need attention, but... Mm. He need his attention at a particular time. Mm. And what he need at that time, you give it to him. Mm. It's okay. okay. If baby is crying, right. you breastfeed the baby, you will sleep. Okay. And get a very uh, strong uh, energy. Okay. So you can see how the plant, they are looking, they very, are looking healthy. very healthy. That's the most important thing. The flowers thing. are all sprouting. Yes. So when the flowers start mm. coming, mm -hmm. then you know that it starts mm. developing mm. the root. Mm. That's one of the practical view. Okay. How do I become a successful sweet potato farmer? Is that anything special I have to do? Is it yes. from the location or where I get my yeah. land, the planting materials, the chemical? What what makes me? Yes, you have to. What we do for smallholder mm -hmm. farmers? Yeah. We train them. Uh -huh. Let them understand the, pro, uh, the the crop. Right. And know the negative part and the positive type of the crop. Okay. And then the soil type they are going to use for the crop. Right. And then. Um, what do you do? The planting material also is the key. If you don't get the planting material right, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have thousand acres of land, but the yield you can't meet the target of the yield. Okay. You can't achieve it. So the planting material also count. Mm -hmm. So basically, those are the basic.
things you want to do. Mm -hmm. And the capacity building of the person is going to take care of the farm. Okay. To understand the physical aspect and there's a sign, the scientific time for the plant. Right. Because the plant requires some particular element to develop very well. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. it. As a pregnant woman, right. you have to go. That's why they go to hospital, they mm -hmm. check them, mm -hmm. and they give them the required medicine they're supposed to take at a particular time. Okay. That's the only one trick. We are practical people. And we have tried it mm. and it works. Mm. So based on that mm. and the market, mm. how the market wants mm -hmm. it, the sizes mm. at a particular time, mm. all those things count. About that, the sizes, I remember when we went to the site, yeah. the Sege for the Ghani Farmer Project, yeah. the land owner was saying, oh, let's do uh, the coffee yeah, then, yeah. so that we can, why are you put doing bed? Mm. Why, why do Mufflis yeah. settled on beds instead of the the other round one they use. You see, the round one, uh -huh. what we realize that yes. that's a traditional way. Yes. You won't get the yield, your yield, the volume, you can't get it. Right. And then the size of the, the product. Okay. You see, some will look concave like my head. <laughs> but wow. if, if you use the ridges, uh -huh. you know, I was showing you. Yeah. You see some of the size. You mm. see how it's coming. Yes. It's looking and straight. And you have more. Yeah. It will be straight. Okay. You that means the export requirement okay but you can't take something in a round shape mm. and put it in a carton and ship it to a supplier to return the, uh, the container back okay. to you okay. so that's okay. why you have to identify the right people you are going to partner with right. and the people understand the person who is going to produce mm -hmm. understand the requirement mm -hmm. of the market mm. it's it's very key mm -hmm. because some of the buyers the supermarket mm. They, are, they don't have time and be doing grady and the sorting. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have you to have mention to all exactly. Before exactly. Then right. they just want the product. Okay. And okay. they will give you the specification, the mm. dimension. Mm -hmm. We have it mm -hmm. L1, mm -hmm. L2, L3, mm -hmm. based on our sizes. Mm -hmm. So if I say L1, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. We have it from the small up to the biggest. So mm -hmm. when we are packaging them, even grading them in the boxes, you have to package it. And we identify those boxes. The size, if it's L1, you mark it L1, okay. L2, okay. L3. Right. We have it up to L3. Okay. So we know. So it's not something you just produce and just load it in the boxes uh -huh. and, and ship. Okay. So moreover, mm. I always say that if you want the sustainability of the market, yes. it depends on your quality and the sizes and the grading. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, a lot of foreigners watch your interview myself and you every day and most of them ask how easy or difficult is it for you as an exporter um how easy is it is it easy for me as a new farmer like what we are doing now then what's the next time we say we want to do our own export how easy is it to, to zoom into that lane of becoming an exporter it's not easy like that okay you have to build capacity of yourself okay it's very key right. we start 14 years ago okay it's not today right but People think that you just come one day and start, you are going to export. Mm. We don't do it. You don't do it that way. Okay. Every market has its own requirement. Mm. Where people, even certification, mm -hmm. we have a global gap here. Mm. Certification is a key mm -hmm. because people are health conscious now. Yeah. People have to have a confidence on what they are eating. Yeah. And if you don't do it that way, you didn't mm -hmm. pass through the process. Mm -hmm. Forget it. You will come to the industry and mm. go back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this line of farming capital intensive? Because I remember after we're giving the budget, uh, you helped us to prepare the budget and share with some of our partners. When others also call, they say, hey, is this not too expensive? But you assured us of the returns and the margins we are going to make. Um, how prepared should I be if I should call my place? I have some 10 or 20 acres. I want to do sweet potato. How prepared should I be? Is it capital intensive? It's capital intensive. You know, in agribusiness, you have to have everything available. Okay. From land preparation, mm -hmm. planting material, mm -hmm. fertilizer, mm -hmm. how you control your weed and all those things. Mm -hmm. So all those things we see put together as the budget. Okay. And then people think that, oh, they say farming. Mm -hmm. No, it's mechanized farming. People, mm -hmm. it's not like old time mm -hmm. Farming is a business we are talking about. Every business requires capital. Right. And farming is a capital intensive. Mm. And it go in line. Mm. If you miss one step, mm -hmm. you come back and so farming exactly. is oh yes. Oh, no it's, a, it's it. not worth it. Mm. It's a, mm. a agri business is better you put my money yeah. in the bank. But yeah. you ask yourself, mm. how many people are in the hospital mm -hmm. today giving birth? Mm. A lot. A lot. Mm. So globally, mm -hmm. 
the demand of food mm. everything we are going up and down for yeah. is the bottom line is food yeah food security mm. so it means that by 2030 30, that we are looking at even zero hunger we need more people mo we need more farming. people go to farming right. so i was urging people mm. that who have the investment mm. there mm. even if they can't do it themselves mm. we have a technical know-how they can come and partner yeah. with yeah. us who will look at it and then we can develop it right. together okay. agriculture is mm. one of the i look at fine business mm. and easier to employ people not looking for more expert because you learn on what you learn on the job okay dr kamasa let's wrap it up and then we'll come back another time one thing that viewers who watch your interview are concerned about is land access to land there are a lot of people who are interested in the trade but access to land and trusts and also cross-checking the people they want to work with how do you advise people who are watching you who have developed some love for you and your encouragement is making them want to come into the agric sector if they want to get land in ghana what are some of the tips the red flags you tell them to watch out for yes land access accessibility of land in ghana mm. the risk is very high okay so as a company we identify some few land mm. where we want to develop mm. and look at our grower scheme mm -hmm. you can be in for whatever country you are your money can work for you right so genuinely they can contact maybe they can contact you mm. then we'll give the technical advisor they can contact us because we work together i'm yeah. in partnership with yeah. you we work together mm. Uh, so that we can able to discover we, the land are there mm. we will discover the right land and we will help them to develop if they even want to manage it right they take us as a consultant we will look at it okay uh, because i uh, we know mm. the challenge in mm. assess, yeah. assessing land in ghana yeah. uh, it's not an easy thing exactly there's a lot of issue about land in ghana yeah. Uh, especially when you are looking for land for commercial mm -hmm. but we know some areas mm -hmm. they can we can uh, recommend and identify follow them mm -hmm. with the process mm -hmm. then they can able to assess those land okay then we'll help them for the preparation we, we do preparation of the land as well give a technical service build a capacity mm -hmm. and monitor and see your investment you are putting in okay secure. all right so that's dr felix mauli kamasa the CEO and founder of Marvelous Trust Ghana Limited. He is the vice president of fruit and vegetable farmers in Ghana. He is an exporter. Listen, this man, his accolades are too many. All right. If you want a genuine person to entrust your resources into, if you want somebody to help you to enjoy your journey in the line of agriculture, I vouch for Marvelous Trust. They have the record from record keeping to banking every document that they risk to see and believe they have it so if you're out there and you've been watching the ghanaian farmer you are interested and motivated to go into farming please you can even go to government institutions and check about my flesh trust same with the ghanaian farmer we are registered and we are doing genuine i even encourage you at times travel from abroad buy the tickets come and see then you can be you know ensure that your money will be properly used so thank you very much if you want to do business with marvelous trust they are on linkedin they are on they have the website as well you can read them on marvelous trust or reach out to me as number i will give to you any day anytime but if it comes to services please listen to this one no? for us to go to your land to test your soil to help you prepare planting material and every technical know-how please recharge i beg you that one we don't do for free we charge you so thank you very much for watching if you want to buy potato from us too reach out to us we'll gladly supply you if you are out there abroad and you want to be uh you know a distributor for him out there you can equally reach out and he will do business with you thank you very much for watching and some few weeks when harvesting is ongoing we'll come back here and make sure you get a set but please this is all again from our we are in Sege. We, we are in the water region. this is marvelous our senior 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 chief farmer we have visited him today we'll be going to the gate to see what's going on there but thank you very much for hanging out with me i'll see you on the flip side bye bye